This is the October 12, 2016 City of Ashland Town Hall TV show, loosely hosted and controlled by John Stromberg, the mayor, that's me. And our guests tonight are Annapurna, no, Annapurna is actually the play they're doing, Jessica Sage and Peter Alzado. So, we talked about Annapurna coming, when it's coming up, and we said that it's Oregon Stage Works, and that name should be familiar to people. Yeah. So Absolutely. Tell us a little bit of background on Oregon Stage Works. Well, Oregon Stage Works uh, started in 2002. I was working in talent. I was running Actors Theater at the time, and uh, there was some uh, <clears throat> some differences of opinion with the board of directors, and some people suggested that I just start my own uh, my own company. Bill Sowers, actually Bill Patton, who was the executive director of yeah. the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, introduced me to Bill Sowers. And Bill was very interested in helping out, so we started a theater in 2002. And then Alan Sandler built us a theater in, on A Street, uh, and that's where we were for, golly, six years. Uh, and during that period of time, we did uh, we had a, a season of six plays plus readings, plus special events. We had a playwrights unit for local playwrights, and Ashland Children's Theater, which is still functioning. As a matter of fact, I just saw one of the playwrights who was uh, part of the uh, playwrights unit. She's still writing, and a lot of them are still in communication. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to bring that that program back. And the theater that Alan built for you was in the Steel was, Tank building? That's right. It was A Street. Yeah. And Alan did a great job on it, and it was a wonderful space. Yeah, I remember yeah. going to plays there. We had, and we did, you know, we did the, what some people considered some controversial work. We did Things We Do, which was a series of plays about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which I loved doing. Yeah. Um, and was attended quite well. And of course, we did, you know, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross that we spoke about. And the, what I was going to say about Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross is the film is very dark. Yeah. So, you know, I think people, we didn't get a big audience attendance. And Bill Langan directed that show and did a, just a great job. It was a great show yeah. and great writing. But people saw the film. Well, it and was I think, so painful. And, and it was just so dark. But the, but the play is funny. It's yeah. darkly funny, but it's funny. Well, that makes a, a huge difference. Yeah. So, in any case, I just wanted to bring that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, we did elephant. We did. A, you were there a lot for of years. Shows. Yeah, we were there for years, and then we lost the lease. And oh. but I never, I never, never um, dissolved the corporation. Yeah. I always kept it going. Always registered with the state, thinking that eventually uh, we would do something else, which we are. And Jessica, dear heart, Jessica <laughs> saw, uh, did a production of Red, which is a great, great piece of work. At Oregon Stage Work? Well, I did it. It, it was with uh, Ashland Contemporary Theater in, uh, I guess, in partnership or in conjunction with Oregon Stage Work. Yeah. Janine Grizzard produced yeah. it. And she did, a, did just a bang-up job producing it. She really did a good yeah. job. And uh, Jessica happened to, we were in, actually, we were in, the uh, Grizzly Peak Winery, uh, where we did it first, which is a great space for it because it takes place in Rothko's studio. And it was just. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The painter. The painter was, yeah, Mark Rothko. It's all about Mark Rothko and his work oh, and my. his assistant. And, it, and it's, about, it's not only about Rothko and his work, it's about art. So, just to set, the, a, set the stage for you, yeah. I have come to Ulysses' trailer. He wasn't expecting anybody, and he's frying sausage, and he's wearing just a little apron around his um, torso. Only a that's little apron? That's all he's wearing. No. It covers his private parts, well, but that's what he's wearing. Right. And You're kidding. So we're going to give you scene three it's very of hot. this play. And it's extremely hot. I and get it's it. Trailer. It sounds hot. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see... A yeah. little bit more of Peter Alzado than you've ever seen before. <laughs> Come see Annapurna at Oregon Stageworks. Okay? Yeah. So, um... So? You're going to put some clothes on now? No, I don't think I am. Terrific. Show up without a word of warning, you take what you find. Didn't know that was a rule. Well, should be if it ain't. Besides, nothing you ain't seen. Maybe I remember seeing things differently. Maybe your memories ain't my fault. 
Maybe some of them are, don't you think? What the hell are you doing here, Emma? Let's say I'm passing through. Really? Peonia, Colorado? Let's just say. Otherwise known as the ass crack of the Rockies. Because golly, <laughs> you wouldn't think it. Yeah, I wouldn't think you'd show up out of nowhere just to mock me, neither. Okay, I'm sorry. But could you please put on some clothes? I got some clothes. And you really think that counts? Hey, normally it's nothing. Lucky you caught me frying sausage. Learned about aprons the hard way. It's disgusting. It's my natural environment. Well, at least you're still stubborn. And what's all I need in the morning? Slippers to prevent my stepping in the dog shit. You let the dog go to the bathroom in your trailer? Wish she would do it in the bathroom. Sneaks in here after midnight, craps on my floor. It's the damnedest thing. I shut that door and lock it without fail, wake up, wake up without fail, put my foot in dog shit. Story of my life. Crap's in the exact spot I'm going to take my first step. Must sneak in through a, or crawl in through a, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how she gets in. I've been trying to figure it out. And that's why you're naked. Oh, that's why the slippers. Nakeds cause the altitude. Sweats you all day, freezes you at night. Don't want to do laundry any more than I have to. But I will put on something clean if I got a check to cash. Try not to sweat in that too much. Get home, fold it neat, wait for sundown. You know. Actually, I, I don't know that one. That's because you probably got the kind of life where you got a washing machine. So what does this make you now? A uh, nudist or something? Makes me a practicalist. Well, I mean, OK, if my practicalism makes me an accidental nudist, so be it. But only as a function of my practicalism. I think really and truly it's a different process. I don't know what it's like for know. you, Peter. So, to me, um, this guy's the composer, and I'm the interpreter. That's kind of what it is for me. That doesn't mean you don't get emotionally involved with the interpretation. Um, and, there's, and that's not to say there aren't creative aspects to being, being the interpreter. But, um, but yeah, that's what it is for me. And so, in the, and so you know, if you, if you follow the line of thought that stories are the making of meaning and people who inhabit those stories are trying to make meaning, then maybe most people who are involved in the arts are looking for meaning. I don't know. Could be. We all